I just got a fresh haircut and just like a fresh haircut makes you look good. So I want to walk through some principles of making a good looking spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a spreadsheet that I've already made before. This is 100 business ideas used to create Google Sheets and create a business from Google Sheets. It's a freebie. If you're watching this as a Better Sheets member, I'll put a link down below. Actually, you don't even need a link. Go over to bettersheets.co. Go over to free resources. Click on 100 business ideas. Get it for free. If you're not a member, it's free. If you are a member, it is free. And uh, we're going to make it look good. It already looks better than most uh, Google Sheets, but I just want to do one big thing to it, which is make it much more in line with my own brand. Because I think the, I think the number one rule of good-looking spreadsheets is that they look like you, that they are your personality, that they live and breathe beyond you and your doing, and they allow people to be – they're super useful. They allow people to do more with their business or in their business. And that they remind people about your business all the time because we're going to – we give this away for free and we hope that people share this. We hope that this is super helpful, super useful, super awesome and that people share it beyond, hey, just go to Better Sheets and get it. They, they actually like should share this with their Google Drive. But we want to make it look good. And again, number one rule in making a good-looking spreadsheet is making it look like you. I think the second thing is making sure there's lots of space. You probably are thinking in the design world like, oh, the typography needs to be right. The, the colors need to be right. And I don't think those are the absolute top, top, top items. I think number one absolutely is it makes it look like you made it, especially in this like AI world that we're living in right now in 2024. We really want to make sure that this looks like we made it. Okay, but let's see. I did make some updates to my website in the past few months, and so I want it to look and feel like my website as an extension of it and that it reminds people about my business. So what I'm using here is the Tailwind color of Emerald 300 and Emerald 400, I think. So we're going to have to get the hex code of that first. I'll get that, and then uh, we're going to use that in the buttons, and we're probably going to use it in sort of any call to actions like this one here. If you are interested in fonts, let's talk about those for a moment. And I think we're using Montserrat right now. There's a few better ones. I think there's a more businessy one that looks good. I just found out about it from an author who uses spreadsheets, Tom Follett. He uses Constantia. So let's look at that. We're going to use that right now. Oh, maybe we have to add it. Uh, more fonts. Let's go to more fonts. Constantia. Yeah, there it is. Let's add it. Let's use it. Perfect. Looks nice. Let's make this bigger. Bigger. We will give it more space. And I think we want to X this out and put it here maybe. No, we just want to make it smaller. So we'll make it twice as small. And we'll probably make this one. I don't know why these numbers are different. We'll make it look the same. 100 business ideas to create Google Sheets. We need to make it, a, a, again, I think the third rule is make a little bit of space. So let's get that Emerald 300 Tailwind color. I always grab it from the Tailwind CSS uh, green. Here's Emerald. We might get the 400 as well for something else. But I want to change this background of this button to Emerald, definitely. And we're going to use a gray for the we're also going to decrease the text a little bit i think there's too much text here and we're gonna change this background color here to a bit of greenery let's do that but just let's take this text down right now it is a it's just command k so what i will do actually is what is this i will take this and change it to a equals hyperlink and the url is going to be oh we don't need that we actually just need this url and we're just going to add template preview to it at the end we're gonna do template preview and then instead of click to make a copy people will know to click so just make all caps make a copy that looks much better we can increase this font but we're gonna use are we gonna use constantia i don't know if we're i don't think we want to use that for the buttons i think we want to use something like cabin and maybe is it bold not cabin let's look at arable black probably not need the bold very little difference but yeah let's make it bigger Make a copy. Don't think we need an underline. Let's make it 11. Give it a little bit more padding. Perfect. I'm going to decrease this contrast. I don't want it to be white in the background. I want it to have a little bit of color like yellow, but not too much yellow. I don't like this particular yellow. We're going to use, actually, I think we can use this green now. Let's look at it. It might be too much green. Yeah, it's way too much green. We want this emerald to pop out. So yeah, we want to use yellow, but not this particular yellow. Let's get an even lighter yellow. Just 
barely a little bit there. Oh, that looks nice. And then we're going to change this font color. Instead of anything we have available here, I think we want for perfect. And it's just a bit of a difference there. We're going to make sure this is also the same yellow and 444. Let's make this all yellow as well. And we're just getting a little bit of cream in there, a little bit of color. And what we want to do as well is change this bar to that emerald as well. And we want this to be Constantia as well. Actually, mm, that doesn't, let's do all the call to actions are Arial Black and then everything else we're going to use as use Constantia. Nice. We also want to get this color correct, get that color there. Put the yellow background here. I don't want this to be green anymore, but here I want a call to action. Oh, I should probably change this email address to my Better Sheets email address and then take this URL away. You can just take that and change it to text color here, but the background green, that emerald. We want that emerald again. So everywhere we have like some call to action, we're gonna use that emerald. Perfect, that's 100 business ideas. We also have this deep dive here, so we'll change that as well. We can go here, instead of doing this all again, we can do paste. We can also change all of this background here. And again, we changed all the text to Constantia and changed the call to actions to Arable Black. Let's do that there and there. Now we had before this sort of alternating colors and I liked it. So we're gonna go back to that, but only do a little shade of yellow. And now we can copy this all the way down. There we go, paste format only, done. And now we have a nice little shade of yellow across. And so I want to point out one more thing before we go beyond the colors and the text is that I put a header at the top idea description and I put only one row frozen. What you'll probably see in a lot of freebies is that the promo and the name and everything is above the frozen line. And then when you scroll down, it's, it's like less than half is available and useful of the screen real estate. So what I like to do is put the headers at the top and then put my name, business, and like promos under it and then move it so that the freeze line is only that first line. So now when people scroll down, it is very, very easy to read. It's a whole lot of screen real estate. As you scroll down, you also have more call to actions every 10 here. I have a little blurb about, hey, go check out Better Sheets. So again, I want this to be mad awesome. I want people to use this, think of this all the time, read through this to like really understand what can they do in Google Sheets that they probably haven't thought of yet. And I hope that this video was helpful to you to learn how to make good looking spreadsheets, use a little bit more color from your site, make your buttons a little bit better here. Uh, I also have, actually by the way, a free Google Sheet add-on and it's available here and as a link to make buttons like this where you have a color and then have a little shadow. Check out Constantia font too. Really cool thing. I think it looks nice. I think it looks very splendid. If you're not yet a member, if you're watching this on Better Sheets, great. Keep watching more videos. Check out Selling Spreadsheets to see more videos like this on how to make spreadsheets that can sell. Even freebies and stuff look awesome. If you are not yet a member, go check out bettersheets.co. You can get started for nine bucks a month now and you get all these resources. Go up to free resources and get 100 business ideas. Get that Right now, I have deep dives into most of them. Still working on this, still adding to this all the time, but got 100 ideas of things and some examples, if they exist, of what you can copy, and then also deep dives into what the idea is about, who could possibly buy it, who could make it, and what kind of skills you might need to make that kind of Google Sheet that could sell. Hopefully this is helpful to you.